Mr. Speaker, uh, thank you. Uh, when I was in uh, Lynn Lake in September 2006, it was very apparent uh, that there was a very serious problem here with mine tailings in the community. It was also apparent that buildings had built, been built on top of mine tailings, and this was a major health concern to people there. Uh, yesterday, the CBC reported that there are many, many individuals in Lynn Lake who have developed a variety of cancers. The NDP government has failed for many years to perform critical research into the incidence of cancers in Lynn Lake. I ask the Premier, when will his government take the incidence of cancers in Lynn Lake seriously and initiate a complete investigation? The, uh, the report raises uh, concerns for sure. and We want to ensure that if there is a higher incidence of uh, cancer in Lynn Lake, that that gets reviewed and uh, understood uh, as to what the causes of that are. So, uh, we will take this uh, question seriously and have further investigation on the patterns of cancer care, patterns of cancer incidents in that community. I can tell the member, however, that we have uh, spent $77 million on uh, tailings uh, remediation in that area, but if there is a higher than normal rate of incidence of uh, cancer in that area, it is an area for concern, and we will further investigate it to see what uh, is the underlying pattern there, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, lung cancer, breast cancer, stomach cancer, colorectal cancer, kidney cancer, skin cancers, 19 cancers within three blocks. This government in 2003 apparently did some sort of a, a health assessment. Uh, will the government table that? Uh, but the problem is, I understand that this health assessment didn't actually look at the health of people. Uh, these types of health assessments really are useful, are not useful at all. Uh, we must have a proper health assessment of the people who have been living in Lynn Lake. Uh, I ask the Premier, will he order a proper, real health assessment of the people living in Lynn Lake? Mr. Speaker, uh, the report indicates uh, that there are some serious incidents of cancer in the Lynn Lake area. Uh, it is true there had been a, an assessment done in 2002. Uh, I think we have to take the report seriously. I think we have to review the findings. We have to identify if there, we have to identify the, uh, whether there is a pattern of a higher incidence of cancer in that area and ensure that people are treated properly. And uh, one of the things we have done is we have done tailings remediation in that area of $77 million, but if there is, if there is some under, if it's 15 years old, as the member uh, says from uh, the Nipo area, then he should take responsibility for it because he was in government back in those days, Mr. Speaker. The reality is, back in the days when they spent, when they spent nothing on tailings remediation, nothing was done. We've spent $77 million, but we don't want uh, a pattern of higher incidence of uh, cancer to occur in any community, so this will be properly reviewed by our health officials, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, 14 years, 77 million, and we still don't have a proper health assessment of the people in Lynn Lake. Is there MLA? You know, this is a community which has been represented for many years by an NDP representative, but sadly, uh, the job hasn't been done properly. Uh, exactly. Of course, Manitobans shouldn't be surprised uh, by this environmental health catastrophe, considering this NDP government's consistent, dismal record on Manitoba's environmental and health issues, from, of course, the world's most endangered lake, Lake Winnipeg, and, as we have heard yesterday, uh, long wait times for near and hip surgeries. Uh, when will this NDP government finally demonstrate some concern for the health of the people of this province and immediately initiate a health monitoring program to assess the health of people in Lynn Lake on an ongoing basis? Shame. Uh, we, we take the report seriously. If there is a higher incidence of cancer occurring in this community, it should be reviewed. I do point out for the member uh, that in 2004, an advisory committee was put together with local residents from both Lynn Lake and Marcel Colomb community with health officials, and uh, the RHA in the area also participated. But I, I think it's very serious if there's a higher incidence of cancer occurring in that area, and we should thoroughly review the report. We should thoroughly review the findings and understand what is going on there. In spite of the $77 million that has been invested, if there is a higher occurrence of uh, cancer occurring, then clearly more work needs to be done. We want these communities to be safe, which is why this is the only government that has ever worked to ensure that tailings remediation of work was actually done. It never used to be done before. It never used to be recorded. It never used to be identified. It was completely ignored when the PCs were in office. They did nothing about it. We've spent several hundred million dollars remediating orphaned and abandoned mine sites. 
We will continue to invest in doing that because it's good for communities, it's good for the environment. But if a higher incidence of uh, health uh, cancer has occurred here, we will again review it with our health officials and see what additional work can be done in consultation Order, with the community. Mr. Time has expired.